Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your January 2022 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your support. I think of you every single day and I send you love. I send you high positive energy, high vibrational stuff, and um, so we'll continue. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday. Then again on Monday. So if reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can check a different part of your chart too. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are different style every week. So today's reading will be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Other weeks I do a love reading. I posted a 2022 predictive reading and that's fun. So if you like tarot, you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Cancer? Messages for Cancer. Okay. All right, so we'll begin here with the tarot, then we'll have the angel answers. We've got the uh, current situation, the Eight of Cups, the immediate influence is the King of Wands. Now you got the Nine of Wands in your destiny, but we won't get too scared off yet. Queen of Cups is in the distant past, the world in the more recent past. You've got the Four of Swords coming towards you. You're represented by the Ten of Pentacles. The person or situation that you are attracting is the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Fool here. Well, this is nice. You've got the Fool in your hopes and fears, the lovers and the outcome. Now the bottom of the deck, you've got Justice, the Two of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Um, so we've got here three major arcana here. Uh, you've got Gemini here. You've got, looks like all the elements are here. No, I'm sorry. You have four major arcana. You've got Libra here too. Um, anyway, so with this though, twos are about partnerships in the tarot. So I do feel like if there's something here, somebody who's been closed off or somebody who owes you something, because you've got, you've got good aspects for money, um, if somebody owes you money or owes you some kind of compensation, I hear compensatory measure. Um, I do feel like it'll be coming through. Anybody that's waiting on money. Um, but I also think with relationships too, I do feel like somebody here, if it's, you've got nice aspects for love as well. This may be a different thing if there's been something holding you back. Um, you know, if there's been some heartache and you just have found you're not even interested in getting into a new relationship, you may have something that happens. I hear corrective action, whatever that means. Something that happens that can release that for you. And, it, and again, I, I know we do it for ourselves, but you know how it is. Those events come into play and they're at the right time and the right place and they're exactly what you need. Because um, with the Four of Pentacles, that's pretty closed off energy, as is that Two of Swords. However, Libra comes in and balances it out. How about justice, not Libra? Justice comes in and gives it balance. Justice is all about the truth coming out, knowledge, integrity, honesty. It's a very trustworthy energy. It's also, too, with the, the columns in the back, that represents knowledge. And so the upright sword indicates a successful conclusion. Now, I will say, though, you see her little foot peeking out of that robe. It's all about, too, setting boundaries for some of you. It may be about putting your foot down. So you may be the one that initiates things. I do see, though, there's a stillness around this. So, it, again, if you're getting like the Wheel of Fortune in other readings, or even if I've given you some that it's come in, there may be a, a something that sets this into play that allows it to be moved forward. Because I feel like you invest a lot of time or effort into it. Um, with that Eight of Cups, that's a hero's journey. It's all about moving on to higher ground. Those upright cups are, are not a negative entity, okay? They're not disappointment. It's really about wanting more for yourself and being on that seeker's journey, understanding things from a deeper place, from a spiritual place, and then you're really free. That's the cool thing about it. Spirituality is not boring at all. That's really the key to this whole damn thing. So we can get out of our own way. You know, we don't have so much of the ego and the mind upsetting us when we're in that eight of cups. Um, it looks like a bit of a bleak card, but it really does indicate that wisdom and soul searching. And there's an answer though. With the king of wands, that king of wands represents expansion, growth, 
vigor, okay? So you may find some of you, maybe that commitment to the spiritual journey and doing some maybe even um, unusual things, okay? I don't, I don't know what you're into, but there could be some different natural things that you do that are kind of off the beaten path, but they do, I feel like they uplift your energy and your soul, your spirit. Why not? With the King of Wands too, though, I do feel like you get what you're looking for, okay? It's, it's, I don't know why I keep hearing that song, you too, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. This is different. This is actually finding it with the King of Wands. Um, King of Wands will be a very persistent energy too. So if you're the one that's not been dating, you have somebody coming in who's going to um, persist. I don't feel like they're going to be pushy necessarily, but I think they're going to do it in a way that that is hard to deny. It's hard to turn away that King of Wands. He's he's got great charisma. Um, that that particular energy, that charisma, that magnetism, and so with that King of Wands too, it's also an energy that inspires you. Um, you may see something like I said. There's some kind of turning point that really moves us forward and allows you to be free of any old hangups. That's all that's about. So with this Nine of Wands down here. You've got a conquering spirit, but there's pain here. I mean, this is not just, um, you know, it, it's not just, boy, look at those wands growing behind him. I mean, it's definitely an energy of feeling a bit protective. And that might just be part of your natural inclination anyway. You might be a bit guarded around your family. That's part of the Cancerian way is being very, you know, pr protective, very caring, very connected with your own family. Um, so for some of you, that might be part of why that's there. You might be somebody that does a lot for other people. You know, you're the first one if somebody's sick or they're having surgery, you're the first one to bring them a meal or offer them a ride or can I, you know, pick your kid up from school or whatever. Um, but it is that sort of energy where you don't give up on things, not easily. You keep trying, you keep going. And I do feel like somebody here has a beautiful attitude about that. It's kind of like you're open to, there's a, there's a reason for this. I don't, might not know what it is, but I'll find out. You know, you just keep going without the cynicism. That's what it is. There's no cynicism. There's no jadedness in that. Um, so with the um, Queen of Cups, this is your own energy here. It's beautiful, loving, open energy. Um, she does too. This is one too where she thinks about her kids all the time. So those of you that have children, you have a very close energetic connection with them and that radiates. You know, you might even be the one that people, you know, think of later when they're, they've grown up, they think of you as that mom, right? That was that mom. That was just kind of the neighborhood mom. Um, if it's not about, you know, kids for you though, with this queen of cups, you still vibrate in this place. You emanate this love. It's a completely unconditional kind of regard. Now, if that is not you, then it's somebody that you've met who has that. And it may be somebody that inspires you as well. I do feel like it's more your energy, but if I'm off on that, I do want to say that's what it is. It's that beautiful energy of having a very unconditional viewpoint. And I see that many times in the reading, kind of not being jaded, being open to new opportunities, seeing things, maybe that ended as there's a new opportunity here. Because when we start to look at this, it's beautiful, you know, I mean, it's really that energy of moving forward. And I love to see the fool in the same reading with the world because it's an evolution. The soul begins and is represented by the fool. And as the soul evolves and has all these experiences in this earth school, it evolves into the world. And so with the world being here, um, there's true freedom here. And it's in a total acceptance and it's also, too, victory. It's living in bliss. It's true joy, true happiness. So this is also a card of travel, too, and seeing the world. It can be a card of moving and changing perspective on things. But it's always for your best good and always brings some enlightenment and this feeling of just being on the right path and really seeing the good in things. So it's it's a card of great success, achievement, and so you may find that you have more people coming into your life who do appreciate you, who want to promote you in different ways. If you've written a book, I feel like you're going to have somebody that comes in that gives you a lot of advice, very good advice on how to get published, how to get the right connections, maybe the right person to design a cover, something like that. 
but it's really expanding your creativity. And whatever you do, it moves forward. So creative ideas turn to things in this energy. So with that Four of Swords, it's kind of an, a, an interesting card to have here. Um, the Four of Swords brings in, it brings in knowledge, wisdom, clarity, but it gets you back to center. It's being in that place of meditation, getting your quiet time in to make it, taking that me time. You know, um, we don't, you know, let's say that you know, somebody leaves early or something. We can always look at that as, well, and I have more quiet time, right? It's like they didn't leave early. They gave, gave me more quiet time. So with this, though, when you're in this energy, that's when the good ideas come in, that quiet stillness. You know, it's usually right after that. Um, but I do feel like this is an important energy for you. Now, I mentioned at the very beginning with those clarifiers, if you're not on speaking terms with somebody, I do see them making a move. I think they're very contemplative about this. I do think it's something that they are, it's like a constant part of them. Whatever this disconnect is with you, they think about it. I'll tell you that. And it's it's like, I feel like they don't quite know or they have not known exactly how to approach it, but I do see that getting corrected in this. So we love to see the wealth card here, don't you? You've got unexpected gains coming in for sure, but it's also, I think it's also seeing really the gifts and things that have gone on, really seeing things from that new perspective. It is money coming in though. I don't want to, I don't want to get too far away from that because it's a brilliant card. It's a wonderful energy and work in any kind of projects. You've got great harmony and synthesis with the people around you. And I do feel like you'll, you, when you're in the energies that are here, you'll know right away who you can work with and who you shouldn't. And it's nothing against them. But if their energy doesn't align, you won't even give them a second look. It's just too important. And the the energy is, alignment is so strong here that, again, you're going to be drawn to certain people, but it's harmonious for everyone around you. So I do feel like it, you make gains here with money. I also think, too, any employer, there's a very reciprocal kind of energy. So they also see your value and worth. And so if you haven't had a new job, it's nothing about a new job for you. You might get a little extra money. I do feel that, like a bonus or something, or in just an increase in pay, recognizing that your loyalty is important. And so with this, I definitely feel like, too, for some, if you do something with clients, I do see an influx of people. I think you're going to have your say in it, though. It's not like you're going to have to take them all on. I think that you'll make, again, you're going to have this energetic connection to certain people. Um, and it'll, it'll be a matter, though, of you deciding how much time you have um, to, to deal with that. For those of you that have a job with clients, they say. So with the Seven of Pentacles, it's a situation or a person you're attracting Money grows on trees in the tarot. It's, again, indications that money's coming in. It's also, the pentacles are also about manifesting anything in your physical environment. So again, with a relationship, it may have been a long time coming here, um, but it's definitely stable. You have a beautiful relationship here, by the way. And so maybe, too, this person also has manifested it. If you're in a partnership, it's just more stability. Sevens are wonderful energy in the tarot. They're a wonderful number. It's more stability in money, too, in the relationship. It's an increase there. So you've got this card of security, safety, alignment. It's a very successful conclusion kind of energy. So we like this. It's making gains. In terms of the physical body, this is also seeing progress, okay? Okay. So those of you that have been putting in time in the gym, you know, tailoring your diet to be more organic or just leaner or whatever, you see dividends there and it makes you want to keep doing it. So we love the fool. The fool has the sun in it. So does the lovers too, by the way. There aren't too many cards that have the sun and you actually have it in the eight of cups as well. It's, it's an energy of indicating you know, not just the success, but that harmony, that divine intervention, that divine kind of those blessings, okay? The sun shines on every area of your life and it's an unconditional happiness. It represents standing in the sunlight of the spirit. So with this card, there's lots and lots of symbolism here. The little white dog indicates a guide. So again, the people you're attracting are for you. There's not anything malevolent here. It's all benevolent. And so the white rose is about purity, being in that place of optimism, trust, enthusiasm, new beginnings, and being wide open, being completely open. It's so different from the four of pentacles, two of swords. This is being ready to receive, 
being primed to receive, and being open to everything. And so you're going to have lots of opportunities with that energy. With the lovers here, we've got Archangel Raphael, Adam and Eve, right, in the Garden of, of Good and Evil or Garden of Eden, however you want to say that. Um, but the, it represents this a relationship. It's like a rela kind of relationship that changes your life. It's beautiful. It's harmonious. It's inside and out. And it's meant to be. If it's a job, too, again, it's a match. Um, but it's also, too, a card that tells you your dream interpretations are important with this. And it's, it's about, Adam, I've mentioned this, I think, before, represents the conscious mind, how the conscious mind is interacting with your subconscious. Now you're connected to the divine. So with the Four of Swords, that meditation is going to be key in this. Meditating, being in that place of knowing if there is some kind of a setback, it's a setup for something better because this is the something better. It's that card when the fool meets the lovers, the fool learns about genuine love. It's where your soul really learns about genuine, true love. And that's what it's about. So you have a beautiful relationship energy for partnerships here. And you definitely have nice gains for money too. Now, sometimes we don't always have both at once and that's okay. It's like, well, I guess... You know, I'm not that interested in the love. I'll take the money. Um, others of you, it could be the other way around. Okay. All right. You've got meditation brings answers. We said that, didn't we? Ask for help from others. You've got reliable people here. If you believe, ask, believe, receive. You've got in the near future. And you've got, now you've got reconsider. So sometimes what that is, is not necessarily what you want. It's just getting away from the how. Let the universe do that. You just need to feel like you already have it and it'll be yours. So good things are on the way for you, Cancer. I love you and I'll be back again soon.